Greetings in the name of the Lord our God, all of us watching from different parts of the world. So blessed Sunday is a great day the Lord has made for us. We rejoice and we are glad in it. Praise God. It's a great day because days are all ordained by God. Seasons and times are in the hands of God. <laughs> Days were created for man, and so were seasons and times, and not man for seasons and times, and not man for days. Praise God. So like uh, the great days of power and glory, we uh, thank God for this great day, the August day. Praise God. And I believe uh, all of us from different parts of the world, we <coughs> of... Uh, um, of need, have had a peaceful, a brilliant, a glorious, a powerful uh, day. And we anticipate the week to be a blessed week in greater ways. We anticipate uh, uh, the days to come to be glorious and stupendous and powerful and full of grace. Uh, with miracles and signs and wonders following us, living in the divine orchestrations of the Lord our God. Praise God. <laughs> Every day is a fresh day. Every day is a beautiful day. Every day is a glorious day. Every day is a special day. Every day is a um, <clears throat> day to reckon with the glory and the power of the Lord our God. So tonight, uh, or daytime in different parts of the world, depending on which um, part of the world you are at, uh, definitely about 10 o'clock in the uh, this part of the world, and maybe daytime in other parts, nighttime here. Uh, I want to bring the word on the post-resurrection um, the post-resurrection effects or the appearances of Jesus like we began after the resurrection as a proof that indeed was raised from the dead and that he had to finish the mission for our redemption, for our salvation. For the love of the Father that uh, God had for us, for the restoration of man, from the fallen Adamic nature, for the restoration of the kingdom dominion, the kingdom reign, the kingdom power, again, in the keys of dominion, authority and power uh, to be handed over uh, to us, praise God. And we are certainly very glad that uh, all of these indeed uh, happened for the glory of God, to the edification of our lives, uh, to the fulfillment of the prophecy, uh, for the um, the end of the promise, glory be to God. Ruth Keshima, God bless you, and every one of you also coming in from different parts of the world and watching us. Praise God. So my brothers and sisters, uh, the reading of the scripture cometh from the book of St. John, I uh, rather Saint uh, Mark, Mark, uh, the sixteenth chapter, because that's the end. Sixteenth uh, chapter uh, would necessary of necessity would have loved to read the whole of it, but I'll read uh, what would be important uh, reference for tonight's uh, broadcast. Praise God! I'll read uh, what will be important uh, for tonight's uh, broadcast. Glory be to God. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. I believe that uh, I'm going to give you a minute, please, as you're coming in. And please do share uh, the broadcast on your page as you send others. Praise God. <clears throat> share the page, share the broadcast on your page as others are coming in. Praise God. St. Mark, the 16th chapter, the last chapter of the book of St. Mark. <laughs> the 
the synoptic gospel. Praise God. We got uh, several synoptic gospels. We got Saint uh, Matthew. We got uh, uh, Saint Luke, the beloved physician who later became a chronicler. And we got Saint Mark. Praise God. The book of John is rather revelatory. And it's not uh, in reference to the genealogy of Jesus as much and to the historicity of the background of Jesus. But the book of St. Matthew, St. Luke, and St. Mark dwell, uh, deal rather and dwell on the historicity and the genealogy of Jesus right from Adam. Praise God. And um, uh, the ministry of Jesus uh, uh, as was experienced. Praise God. And seen uh, by many uh, recipients of the ministry of Jesus. But St. John is rather a little more richer because of the depth of the revelation of the word of God in it. The weight and the revelation of the word. Asire Paul, God bless you. Watching from Uganda, God bless you. Monika Chaza Kapoor, God bless you. Ruth Keshima, God bless you and every one of you who's coming live. Praise God. A little bit of uh, a tremendous insight uh, when it comes to St. John because he approaches it with a revelatory tone and gives us a dimension that we don't quite find or get in the book of St. Mark, St. Luke, and the book of St. Matthew. Gives us, uh, for instance, he begins, at the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, as praise God. And we beheld his glory as the only begotten of the Father. He came to his own, and his own received him not. So we see him clearly here telling us that he was in the beginning with God, and he was the Word, praise God. And then he was God himself. And then he came to his own, wrapped up in the flesh, dwelt among us his own, and his own received him not. Praise God. So the scriptures and the Holy Writ are very rich, very, very rich. However, after Jesus was crucified and Jesus rose up from the dead, which, have, which would otherwise have been debatable, but because of the infallible proofs of the appearances of Jesus post-resurrection, there is no doubt or question of the death, the crucifixion of, or rather, the crucifixion of Jesus, the death of Jesus, the burial of Jesus, and the eventual resurrection of Jesus, and finally, the ascension of Jesus. There is no doubt about this because of the infallible proof beyond debate. The men witnessed, I mean, uh, rather his uh, disciples witnessed the resurrection of Jesus, the resurrected Jesus when he appeared to them uh, uh, with a glorified body physically. Praise God. Elizabeth Lafon, I'm watching from Bahrain. God bless you. When he appeared physically in a gloria, uh, glorious or glorified body. Praise God. Oh, hallelujah. And throughout the previous broadcast, we saw how he appeared to Mary, how he appeared to uh, Cleophas and his friend on the road to Emmaus, or rather the trip to Emmaus, how he appeared to Simon Peter, and then Simon Peter and the other disciples like Thomas and Nathaniel and John and James, praise God, and how we appear to uh, many others. But uh, in this particular reference today, we see Jesus appearing to the entire uh, troop, to all the crew, or to all the disciples who later became the apostles, praise God. Here he appears to all of them in evident way, in manifested, tangible way. He appears to them and he proves to them that he is indeed the one who ministered and raised the dead from the life, Lazarus in that case, and opened up the eyes and even blind Bartimaeus and um, told the man by the pool of Bethesda, Bethesda, who was there for 38 years, and no man was there to push him to the waters that were stirred up by the angel of God. And he did, he was the one who told him, pack up thy bed and go. 
in the name of Jesus. And he was made whole. He was the very one when the men were mulling crowds around him as he was taught teaching in the, in, the, in the house and the man was paralyzed was brought by his four friends and they went up the roof and they removed the tiles of the roof and let him down the roof down to where Jesus was teaching and then Jesus looked at the man and the big people asking is it the sins of this man that have made him paralyzed and they said nine of that but you may know that the son of man hath the power to forgive sins arise up Pack up thy bed and go home. Praise God. Oh, which of thee among us thee, if you had lost your donkey on the day of Sabbath, that lost and had fallen to the ditch, will not raise the same from the ditch? Which one among us thee? Praise God. Oh, hallelujah. It was the same one who was teaching them about the kingdom of God in the Lake Genesaret or the Sea of Tiberias or the Sea of Galilee and then went and sat in the boat of Simon Peter in the fifth chapter of the book of St. Luke and he began to teach them and then he later began and told, and told Simon Peter, thrust thy boat a little farther, O shall and launch thy nets unto the deep. Cast thy net and launch them to the deep. Oh, hallelujah. And great was the catch of the fish, the boat sinking catch of fish that they had to call for their neighbors to help them. Such is the power of God working in our lives that God is able to do exceedingly abundantly, infinitely beyond our wildest imagination according to his power that worketh inside of us. He is able to bless us beyond our propositions, beyond our prayers, beyond our expectations, beyond our desires, beyond our passions, beyond our loftiest expectations. God is able to do exceedingly abundantly, infinitely beyond the same according to his power. Power, the resurrection power of God inside of us, the treasure, that the excellence of power may not be of these earthen vessels, but may be of God. The resurrection power of God has the capacity and the ability to cause the multiplicity, multiplied blessings of God to unfold in our lives, to multiply and increase to the glory of God, to the edification of our soul, to the coming to pass of the prophecy and the fulfillment of the promise of God in our lives. Oh, the resurrection power of God in action, revitalizing our mortal bodies and causing every dead cell to come alive and causing every diseased place to be restored and removing every infirmity, every disease, every weakness of the body and giving us power and the ability. Oh, hallelujah. And the energy, the energy. Oh, shaka tolaba. The dunamis. Oh, my God. I feel like I want to preach tonight. I feel like the resurrection power of God is overwhelming me today. But nevertheless, by the grace of God, I want to hold myself a little bit here because I'm feeling the fire of God and the power of God and the abundance of the revelation like the Euphrates and the Nile flowing over my veins and flowing and coercing over my veins in the name of the Lord our God. The resurrection power of God is real and tangible and practical and is working wonders on our state, on our behalf, is working wonders. Go Shalamandolaba cleansing the leprous Opening of the blind eyes, raising the dead back to life, or oh, Shakantholaba, healing the paralyzed and causing us to be protected and to be shielded from the diabolical virus and causing us to be shielded and protected from the weapons fashioned against our lives and from the noise and pestilence. Shakantholaba, Ikalamoshi Kalaba, so that God is our shield and our buckler, a very present help in times of trouble in the name of the Lord our God. And because we dwell in the secret place of the most high God under the shadow of the almighty we shall say of the Lord he is our refuge and our fortress a thousand shall fall on one side ten thousand on the other side and only with our eyes shall we see the demise of our enemies and because we have set our love on him he shall hear us in the day of trouble and in the day of need they will call on the name of the Lord their God and they shall hear him O and he says even before they call, he will say, here I am. Before they open their mouth, he would have answered them. And this is the day of the resurrection, the day of power, the day of glory, the day of miracles, signs and wonders, the days of grace, the days of duna, mu, 
dunastes, dunamao, dunamis. Praise God, praise God. The days of exousia, the days of power, power, power. The ability, the supernatural ability of God, working wonders, even through yielded clay vessels. Yielded clay vessels, if thou canst believe, all things are possible. For with God, nothing is impossible. Praise God. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, shalamandolaba. And so he was to prove that he was the same one that did miracles. So shekantolaba. That who, who shalamandolaba, that uh, uh, cleansed the lepros. And they went to the priest and they came, one came back to thank the Lord for the healing uh, from the lepros, from the leprosy. Glory be to God. That same one, the centurion came and said, my servant is about to die. Oh, only speak a word, I'm not even worth that thou shalt come under my roof. For you are a man of authority like I am. I say to the other one, go, and they go. I say to the other one, come, and they come. You are a man of authority. I'm not even worth that thou shalt come under my roof. Speak the word. And Jesus said, not in Israel have I seen faith like these Gentiles. And he was a Gentile. He wasn't even a Jew. He wasn't even from the house of Abraham. He was a Gentile. And he spoke the word and the servant with immediacy received a supernatural touch and a miracle took place and he was a recipient of the power of god the resurrection power of god was in action already even before jesus was crucified because in him was in the spirit of god dwelling without measure jesus after oh my god who oh shall he was led by the Spirit of God to the wilderness, and he came full of the Spirit and power. And then he went to the temple, and was given to him the book of Isaiah, and he opened up the book of Isaiah. And it was opened, the part that say, the Spirit of the Sovereign Lord God is upon me, for he hath anointed me to preach the gospel. He hath anointed me to preach the gospel the gospel to the meek to the poor and he has anointed me to declare the kingdom of god glory be to god to open the blind eyes to declare the acceptable of the lord to open they that imprison the prison doors in the name of jesus christ and to declare the year of the lord's vengeance god restores and recompenses and restitutes for everything ever stolen of our lives that is the reason why the holy ghost works wonders in our lives reviving, resuscitating, revitalizing, restituting, and causing restoration to take place. Rebirth, restoration, re, re, return, re, re, recalibrate, re, 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 refresh, re, 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 reset. That is why the Holy Ghost works inside of us to reset, rebirth, restore, revive, refresh, renew, recalibrate, lift in the name of Jesus. And that is the same ability that was now to be sealed and given to man. Because had Jesus not been crucified and died on the cross and raised from the dead, there would have been no recipiency or we would not be the recipients of the power of God. It would have been Jesus, 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 and there would have been no oh, shalamandolaba, they that have been raised with Christ and crucified with him, being recipients of that power and glory. So he had to be crucified, die on the cross, be buried, and he was to be resurrected or to be raised from the dead. Praise God. So that you and I may receive eternal life. The Spirit of God that raised Christ from the dead also raised us from the deadness of sin, from the curse and the bondage of the fallen Adamic nature and given us life and life eternal and given us the power and life and the glory and the image and the likeness ah, of God now working in our lives so that after the image heavenly, out of the image and the likeness of God, feel the treasuries of heaven and feel the power of God, now we exemplify the kingdom of God, the signet of God, O Shalamandolaba, the aristocracy of the new Jerusalem and the aristocracy of the kingdom of God. Of God. 
they shall be called by the name of the Lord. God has placed his name in us so that now we are Christ-like. We are called, O Shalamandal, of the sons of the Most High God, the children of the Most High God, washed in the blood, cleansed by the precious, eternal, sinless, O everlasting blood. Oh, what can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Who can heal my sicknesses and infirmities and diseases? By his stripes we were made whole. Jesus, so shak and tholaba. Jesus, so shak and tholaba. Oh, hallelujah. Glorify, magnify, praise him. Oh, shalaman tholaba. Testify about his power. Glorify his name. Lift up his name. For the kingdom of God is not by sight or by observation. Oh, shalaman tholaba. But the kingdom of God cometh not only by observation, but the kingdom of God, O Shalaman is in power, miracles, and signs, and wonders. Every time you talk about his power, every time you talk about his glory, the power is manifest, and the glory is tangible, O Shalaman and the goodness and the mercy of God is experienced by us. Oh, hallelujah. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling a lift. I'm feeling a thrust. Oh, glory be to God. 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 The post-resurrection effects, the post-resurrection days, the post-resurrection recipients, the post-resurrection products. Oh, hallelujah. We are the products of the resurrection of Jesus. Hallelujah. And we are living in the days after the resurrection. They are the Holy Ghost days, the glorious days, the powerful days, the days of miracles, signs, and wonders. <laughs> glory be to God. Glory be to God. Now, coming back to the text today, St. Mark, glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, Shelaman Dolaba. After this, uh, uh, Mark chapter Mark, uh, Mark the book of Saint Mark chapter sixteen, uh, the book of Saint Mark chapter sixteen, verse twelve. After that, he appeared in another form unto the two of them, and they walked and went into the country that was Cleophas and his friend, the road to Emmaus. And they went and told it unto the residue, meaning other people. Neither believed they them. So you see. Had Jesus not made many infallible proofs, many post-resurrection appearances, there is a possibility that many would not have believed. For there were many who opposed the resurrection of Jesus and they wanted it hushed down so that it would dawn the history of man. That Jesus, who was crucified, died on the cross, rose up on the third day. So this was the deliberate, premeditated, divine orchestration of God in his divine, omniscient wisdom to prove to the living man of the day and to the later people that indeed this was the Christ who was crucified, died, buried, and now Resurrected. Praise God. O Shalabarabu. O Hallelujah. After what he appeared unto the eleven. Now these are all the eleven. Except the son of perdition. Judas. The betrayer. Or the son of perdition. Afterward he appeared unto the eleven. As they sat at their meat. And upbraided them with their unbelief and hardness of heart, because they believed not them which had seen him after he was risen. Now, let me read it from the Amplified Version, so that uh, it will be simplified for those who, to whom the English, uh, the KJV English may be tough. I want to simplify it. The book of St. Mark, chapter or Shalaba. I want to read it from a simplified version so that they that may have a problem with the KJV English may be able to uh, masticate these without a problem. Oh, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. 
Afterward, he appeared to the eleven apostles themselves as they reclined at table. He reproved and reproached them for their unbelief. They were all gathered together, seated together in one form, okay, in one room. All of them seated together, reclining and seated together. And then he began to reproach them or to rebuke them for their lack of faith, okay, because it was noise to them. The news had reached them of the resurrection of Jesus, but they believed not. So he began to reprove them and rebuke them. Why was Jesus rebuking them and reproving them? Because Jesus, all throughout his ministry, had told them, admonished them, reminded them, and projected to them that indeed the Son of Man will suffer in the hands of man. And he'll be rejected and he'll die on the cross crucified and he will be resurrected from the dead or he shall be raised from the dead praise god or he shall rise from the dead glory be to god the same one said destroy this temple after three days i will rebuild this temple again the same one and so he rebuked them he reproached them because they had the first hand information about his suffering crucifixion, death, and eventual resurrection. They had what we call the inside information. Praise God. He had given them classified information. He had given them inside information. But even after having given them classified information or inside information or confidential information, they still doubted even after they were told that Christ had risen from the dead. And so he comes and rebukes them harshly for their lack of faith and their hardness of heart because they had refused to believe those who had seen him and looked at him attentively after he had risen from the dead. And he said unto them, Go into all the world, and preach and publish openly the good news, the gospel of the kingdom of God to every creature of the whole human race. Do you know the efficacy of the gospel? Do you know the power of the gospel? Do you know the glory of the gospel? When we preach the gospel of Jesus Christ, when we preach the good news of the kingdom of God and of his Christ. The entire creation gets to respond to the gospel. When the gospel is released to the atmosphere, even the trees, even the sea creatures, oh my God, even the creatures in the different atmospheres, the fowls of the air or the birds of the air, the sea creatures, the different species in the forest, even the unliving things like the rocks, they all respond to the glorious gospel of the kingdom of God and of his Christ. That is how efficacious and how powerful and how glorious the gospel of Jesus Christ is. Oh, Paul said, necessity has been laid on my shoulders and woe unto me if I don't preach the gospel. The gospel, the gospel is the power of God unto salvation. Praise God. Glory be to God. Lift up your voices, open up your mouth and give God a shout of praise. The gospel of the kingdom of God and of his Christ. And this gospel of Jesus Christ, who suffered in the hands of men, who was betrayed, and who was crucified, hung on the tree, who died and who was buried at the sepulchre of Joseph of Arimathea, and was raised from the dead on the third day and appeared through many infallible proofs to his disciples that the world, the history, eternity will reckon indeed that this was the Christ who was to come and redeem men from the deadness of their sin. 
and that God reconciled man unto himself by the blood of his only begotten son and that the redeeming blood hath reconciled us unto himself. Now we are called the sons of God. O Shakantholabo, he hath called us his own and he has called us by his name. We are sanctified by his blood. We are justified. We are called. We are redeemed and we are conformed to the very image of his dear son and we have been translated from our former conversations and translated from the dominions and the clutches and the kingdom of darkness unto his kingdom, the kingdom of his dear son, the kingdom of miracles and signs and wonders. That is the gospel. Jesus who saves and delivers, who shalaba, who heals the sick, who restores our strength, who for Paul now later says, for there is now therefore no condemnation for they who walk not after the flesh. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus hath redeemed us, me and you in Christ from the bondage of the curse of sin and death. Death. Where is thy sting? Grave. Where is thy power? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. He snuffed the power of sin. He snuffed the sting of sin. For he himself became sin that he may crucify the sin in us and that we may attain receive the righteousness of God so that we may be called the righteous for we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus today and he said unto them, Go into all the world. The last words of Jesus to his disciples. And all of them gathered together. The, the, the eleven of them. All of them. The, the same ones who stood at the day of Pentecost. When Simon Peter stood up and said, Why marvel ye? Sing therefore it's only the third hour of the day. These are not drunken as he supposed, but this is that which was spoken by the prophets of old, that it shall come to pass in the last days I will pour my spirit upon all flesh, upon the main and the maiden servants, upon the young and the old. The young shall dream dreams, uh, the, the young shall see visions, and the old shall dream dreams. Praise God. Oh, hallelujah. And 3,000 souls were translated and brought to the kingdom of God. 3,000 souls. Oh, shaka tholaba. The kingdom of God declared in power and in supremacy and urgency. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, and in the glory of the heavens. Hallelujah. So he tells them, go into all the world. The spheres of human influence, the spheres of governance, the spheres of civilizations, every sphere, every facet, every area of humanity, go into all the world, the world of science, the world of cosmic uh, uh, whatever, the world of astro uh, astronomy, the world of medicine, the world of uh, legal, legal world, the, the world of engineering, the world of governance, the, the world of poetry, the world of fil film industry and creative acts go into every sphere of human influence. Go and preach the gospel of the kingdom of God and of his Christ. Praise God. 
and publish openly the good news to every creature of the whole human race. He who believes who are theirs to entrust and relies on the gospel in him who it sets forth is baptized and will be saved from the penalty of eternal death. But he who does not believe does not that they are to trust and rely on the gospel in him whom it set forth will be condemned. And these attesting signs will accompany those who believe. And these miracles and signs will, be, uh, will follow them that believe. In my name they will drive out demons and they will speak in new languages. They will pick up serpents and even if they drink anything deadly, it will not hurt them. They will lay their hands on the sick and they will get well. Praise God. And so then the Lord Jesus Christ, after he had spoken to them, was taken up into heaven and he sat at the right I sat right down at the right hand of God. And they went out, preached, and preached everywhere while the Lord kept working with them and confirming the message by attesting signs and miracles that closely accompanied it. Amen. Glory be to God. Oh, hallelujah. He appeared to all the eleven. And he rebuked them while they were reclining on the seats, gathered, even after they that had seen him had brought the news that he had read, indeed was resurrected from the dead. They doubted, they were filled with unbelief, and Jesus reproached them and rebuked them, and then admonished them to go into all the world and preach the gospel. That is the mandate we've been given. Every Christian, every child of God, every blood bought saint ought to preach the gospel of the kingdom of God and of his Christ. You have been listening to the broadcast perhaps and you haven't given your life to Christ. Already miracles were happening while I was preaching the word. Miracles of all kinds, the sick, all kinds, breakthroughs chains being broken, eight miracles of all types and kinds happening as the ministration of the word of God goeth forth. Glory be to God. Something good is happening and something great is already happening. The performance of the word of God happening as the word of God is being spoken right now in Jesus' name. But before I close, I want to give every one of you an opportunity to give your life to Christ. Maybe you have been listening to the word, never had the opportunity to really tangibly surrender your life to Christ by confessing with your mouth. It's an act of simple confession and believing in your heart that Jesus died on the cross, rose up from the dead, shed his blood for the forgiveness of your sins with your mouth to confess the Lordship of Christ. Say this after me, Lord Jesus, I thank you for saving me today. I confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. With my mouth, I confess that Jesus is Lord. With my heart, I believe unto righteousness. Let your blood wash and cleanse me from all sin and unrighteousness. I receive in eternal life. Jesus Christ reigns in my heart. I thank you that today I'm born again and I'm a child of God. In Jesus' name, amen. The Lord bless you and the Lord do you good. You are a product of the resurrection of Jesus. And miracles and signs and wonders will always follow every child of God who believes in Jesus. Wash in the blood. You have received eternal life. And the God of power and glory working miracles and wonders in and through your life. You will never fall by the wayside, fall off the cliff. God's hand is upon thee. The Spirit of God dwells in thee. And you will always be victorious irrespective of the obstacles and mountable challenges that may be happening around the world. You are the aristocracy of the kingdom of God and you are blessed and highly favored and lifted. The Lord shield thee and protect thee from the diabolical virus and all atrocities and all weapons fashioned against thy life. The Lord is thy portion. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy strength. And now I'm going to take some time to pray. They that are indebted and are believing God for a supernatural miracle of a release. I break the chains of debts in the name of Jesus. And let there be a supernatural provision to pay off the debts. And I thank you, Lord, that thy people will not be in the bondage of debts in the name of Jesus. They are paid off by the power of God. 
giving your people ideas and how to come out of the same in the name of the Lord Jesus. They that are sick in their bodies, I command you to be healed right now by the power of God. Whether sickness of any kind or a weakness of any sort in your body right now, receive the power of God and wake up rise up and begin to do that which you couldn't do before exercise your authority uh, your, your 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 faith in the name of jesus the joint pains be removed the back racking pains be removed straighten up and be made whole now by the power of god anyone listening to me with any kind of infirmity or disease or malice father i command your power in the name of jesus to Touch them and to raise them from the deathbeds and to experience the resurrection power of God. And I thank you for the blind are seeing, the deaf are hearing, the mute are speaking, the joint pains that were aching now, there's no more aching. The paralyzed ones are getting healed. Any kind of weakness of the body now, they're getting strength from the power of God in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord. I give you praise because you have healed and bless your people any kind of problems in the households my lord i thank you for the straightening up i thank you lord for the correction i thank you for the alignments and the alignments oh god be magnified and be glorified in jesus name amen the lord bless you the lord do you good share the broadcast please don't you ever forget to share the broadcast on your page and also play it on your page and send to as many other groups as you can let the word of god spread fulfilling the word that says for the knowledge of the glory of the word of god shall cover the nations of the earth as the waters cover the seas and this gospel of the kingdom of god shall be preached as a witness to all the nations of the earth and then the end shall come praise god fulfill the scriptures and fulfill the promise and fulfill the prophecy and fulfill the edict the great commission god bless you See you tomorrow again. We are available on YouTube. Please tune into the YouTube too. Subscribe, all of you. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. You'll find all teachings there in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Love you all. See you again. Kingdom aristocracy, always a joy to bring to us the anointed, eternal, inspired word of the living God. Amen.